Hello guys. I decided to make a, maybe a bit shorter videos that are more to the point without all that bullshit and trying to really cut it down to make it simple to understand and more helpful to you and maybe me while editing long videos. Today's topic is snowball effect. How can we use it? What it even is and so on. So snowball effect is basically when some one little thing can sum up into something big in the result. It means that maybe I just randomly talk to one person on the street and because I approached him and we talked, he became my friend and then we together start a huge business. So from one little interaction that happened, we created a huge business potentially. I mean, that's very bad example, but the more practical way to use the snowball effect, in my opinion, is to start taking action slowly. Because just as a bad actions can have this negative snowball effect, like I started eating sweets, I stopped working out, I got fatter in the result and didn't take enough actions in other things like educating myself more, learning programming for example, which I wanted to do for quite a while and I didn't really progress in it. And from the small steps, small negative steps, it can become whole negative life, kind of. Without execution, without taking action, and just staying in your comfort zone and not really moving forward and just losing the time you have. Because the time we have is very limited in our lives. On the other hand, we can use the snowball effect for the positive side of the things. You start taking little and little action and slowly, from a little action, build up more action, more action, and it becomes a lot of good, positive action towards improving your life, towards maybe meeting cool new people, towards building a cool business, and so on. Depends on what your goal is, really. So the key is to start taking action of any kind that's kind of outside of your comfort zone and starting to get out of your comfort zone step by step. Because doing this thousand things all at once, not eating sweets, eating just chicken and vegetables and working out uh, three hours a day, most people cannot do it just right away. And it's very difficult, but if you start working out 30 minutes a day and then the second most important part starts, you keep it up, then you can add another 30 minutes and then in a few weeks you can work out a few hours maybe daily and you will be keeping it up because it was kind of slower progress towards that. So the snowball effect is about kind of starting slowly but surely starting and then keeping it up not backing out of it. So it's basically just two simple steps. One start taking action. Do something meaningful that is outside of your comfort zone and improves your life, but at the same time you look towards doing. Number two, keep it up. Keep going, do it every day or every week, but I would recommend doing something daily because then it can, after I think 63 days or something like that, after around two months, it starts forming permanent habits like n narrow connections in your brain that kind of don't die away even if you stop this habit. You can always stop the habit and you c everything can go bad in that terms of your life improvement, but it's like with the gym, when you learn how to do the workout, you don't need to learn how to do it again, even if you start again, it's easier. Another important thing here to really keep it up, I think, is to kind of always learn and improve. So if you taking action results in a failure, don't take it as something bad and okay, I failed, now I will stop and go to my comfort zone again and stop taking action. That's bullshit. You should look at it as a learning opportunity. How can I learn from this situation? To never repeat my mistake again or to try not to repeat my mistake again. To next time go a bit fruiter than I did go this time. 
So what you really want to do is kind of start taking action. Snowball this action, add more and more action. And for that, you need to keep up that initial taking of action. Like if you start working out, you don't stop working out to start learning new language. You need to keep working out. Maybe you add more time to your workouts and maybe also start learning new language another 30 minutes a day instead of 40 minutes of workout a day or something of that sort. And you slowly add these productivity actions that are moving your life forward until you are where you wanna be uh, with this kind of progress, which I think you can always improve a bit more. And that's an important thing to understand. You will never be perfect. Perfection is the worst thing to be at. It's something we are seeking to achieve, but we never achieve because if you are perfect, so an absolute top with everything, the only way is down. And what really drives us as humans is achieving something, that progress, and then just very hardly, almost not being able to, but still reaching that top. But it's just the top of one hill. And we have thousands other hills we can climb on, thousands other mountains. It wasn't meant quite literally, so it could be taken that way too. It meant it more of a goals or mountains of achievements, mountains of some goals that you have. One can be having a great body, and building a huge business, another maybe being the favorite in your community or something of that sort. It doesn't matter what it is. It's all kind of inside your head and you're doing this for yourself to be happy, but in my opinion also to be able to help other people because when you are in a good place yourself, then it's easier to spread that positivity and help to other people than if you are in a very bad place just in your comfort zone, you might not even meet that other people to help them in the first place. But yeah, that's my take. I think it's kind of too long already. So see you in the next one. I hope this was helpful. Maybe let me know in the comments what you want to see next or whether it was even helpful. And yeah, bye.